Hello and welcome. Alright, so this is part number four of chapter number two, the experimental techniques. In the previous video, that is part number three, we discussed the importance of the purity of substances. And so in this video, we'll be talking about uh, the methods of uh, purification. Of course, the method differs uh, based on whether it's a mixture of solids or whether it was a solution. In this video, we will only be discussing uh, if it, the case um, of which if it was a mixture of uh, solids. Okay, so let's get started. So, if you have a mixture of two solids, you have to pick a suitable solvent. such that one of the two solids, one of the two solids, uh, one solid is soluble in the solvent and the other solid is insoluble in the solvent. Okay, of course, uh, this requires a knowledge of the uh, solubility of the different compounds and different solvents. And that's not within the scope of chapter number two. So, um, in the example that we will be discussing in a few moments, uh, the question will state what solvents are uh, to use. Okay, so let's see our example. Okay, so we have a mixture of calcium carbonate and sodium carbonate. Calcium carbonate is insoluble in water and sodium carbonate is soluble in water. So um, obviously our solvent is water, that's our solvent. That's uh, what we will uh, dissolve uh, our mixture of solids in. Okay, so the insoluble solid will be obtained by a process known as filtration. And the soluble solid will be obtained by a process known as crystallization. Alright, so let's get started by obtaining the insoluble solid, which is calcium carbonate. So, your first step is dissolving the mixture in pure water, our solvent, as we said. Okay, and so um, you dissolve it um, in a beaker here, and then you heat and stir to ensure the complete dissolving of sodium carbonate, because sodium carbonate is the soluble solid. And of course, um, you have a tripod and a gauze in which the, uh, on which the beaker is placed. Now, you filter this mixture to obtain calcium carbonate as residue. So, um, this is, the, this is uh, the apparatus of the filtration process. You must uh, know how to illustrate the uh, filtration process. So, this is filtration. Okay? So let's, before resuming the steps, let's just um, get to know the apparatus. So here you have a stand and a clamp, and here you have a beaker, uh, which is the receiver, which uh, whatever is collected here is known as the filtrate. And here you have uh, the residue, which is left on the filter paper. So here we have a filter funnel with a filter paper in it. So what's left on the filter paper, which is the insoluble solid, is known as the residue. And the filtrate, which is the soluble solid, is known as the filtrate. You need to uh, really uh, know these terms because these are important terms. So let's just highlight them, residue and filtrate. And we have filter funnel with filter paper. Of course, that's not a typical paper. It's a certain kind of paper uh, that's available in labs. So you filter to obtain calcium carbonate as residue. Now you wash it with pure water to remove any traces of sodium carbonate. And then 
uh, dry the calcium carbonate uh, either by leaving it on the filter paper uh, to dry out. Sorry, that was the highlighter. Let's um, get back to the pen. Yeah, by, le uh, by leaving it on the filter paper or uh, by drying it in an oven at 100 degrees Celsius. So, um, quick recap. You dissolve the mixture in pure water, heat and stir to ensure complete dissolving of sodium carbonate, filter to obtain calcium carbonate as residue, wash with pure water to remove traces of sodium carbonate, dry with filter paper or by oven at 100 degrees Celsius. So that was obtaining pure calcium carbonate, that is the insoluble solids by a process known as filtration. Now we want to obtain sodium carbonate, which is the soluble uh, solid. If you want to obtain it crystals, and so it is sodium carbonate dot 10 H2O. This here implies water of crystallization. So, of course, um, uh, also uh, the formula, how to write the formula of different compounds is not within the scope of chapter number two. Uh, it will be discussed in future chapters, but just for your information, when you see this water, dot water, uh, it, means, um, it means that it is a crystal, it's not a powder. Okay, so how to obtain it? So, you take the filtrate that was here, that was in the receiver, collected in the receiver or the beaker. And then you vaporize it in an evaporating dish to crystallization point using water bath. Okay, so let's see the apparatus of uh, the evaporation process. We have here uh, what is known as the evaporating basin, which contains the water and is heated. And here is the evaporating dish. And here there is an outlet to let go uh, the vapor so that the pressure, so uh, that pressure... Uh, doesn't build up okay that's uh, the purpose of this small outlet here so you vaporize here the sodium carbonate aqueous until crystallization point so you're going to ask me how do I know if I reach the crystallization point so after some heating after you have done some heating take a drop of the solution here and then put it on a wash glass if it turned milky when it cools, this means that you have reached the crystallization point and you can take off uh, the evaporating dish from the evaporating basin and leave stamp to cool and collect the crystals. Okay, so now uh, we learned how to obtain crystals of sodium carbonate. What if we want to obtain powdered sodium carbonate and not crystals? Simply, you're going to vaporize the sodium carbonate aqueous to dryness. Uh, because there is no need for uh, water of crystallization. You're just going to heat it until it dries out. Okay, so um, what we have covered in this uh, tutorial or video is the method of purification if we have a mixture of two solids. And we talked about the importance of picking a suitable solvent in which one solid is soluble and the other is insoluble. The soluble uh, solid uh, in the chosen solvent is obtained by crystallization and the insoluble solid in the chosen solvent is obtained by a process known as filtration. Okay, so I think we have come to an end um, with this video. Um, in the next video, that is part number five, we will be discussing methods of purification of different of the different solutions. Um, if you have any questions, uh, kindly leave them below in the comments section. Um, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.